Scott. December 8th, 2020. You affirm. You affirm. Brendan Scott taking the oath of office, becoming Baltimore's next mayor. And laws there are. And laws there are. The oath can be found in the Maryland Constitution, and it's a little lengthy, but it reads in part, quote, that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland and support the Constitution and laws thereof. Whether you're talking about the mayor of Baltimore City or the state's attorney for Baltimore City, they are required under the law to not only uphold the law, but to enforce the law. Jeremy Eldridge, a former prosecutor in the state's attorney's office, now works as a defense attorney. He says the oath clearly outlines the duties for not just the mayor, but city council members and state's attorney Marilyn Mosby. The issue is when they choose not to voluntarily. And that choice has been made. What we will do is actually enforce illegal activity that is not uh, protected by the Constitution. The mayor claiming there's some gray area surrounding the law prohibiting squeegee kids from doing what drivers see and deal with daily. Maryland's laws are also clear. One statute saying, quote, a person may not stand in a roadway to solicit a ride, employment, or business from the occupant of any vehicle. And then there's this one, targeting aggressive soliciting defined by several actions, including intentionally blocking or interfering with safe passage of a person or a driver, using obscene language, intimidating a person, or continuously soliciting from a person or following a person after someone said no. Last week, one squeegee kid telling Fox 45 News he often squeegees after a driver says no. You can't always take no for an answer. Councilman Zeke Cohen coming out Wednesday against calling for more law enforcement. Have police officers as part of the solution. They got to show up and be present as well. But I don't want them coming out whenever they see a squeegee, a uh, young person squeegeeing and thrown on handcuffs. So after public statements from the mayor and other elected leaders about not enforcing the laws on the books while squeegee kids dart in and out of traffic, we sent a question asking, do you believe you or your colleagues are violating the oath of office by opting not to enforce the laws relating to public solicitation? That question going ignored. When voters come to vote in two years for the mayor again, Will they remember this situation? Eldridge says the city is at a crossroads, and right now everyone is at risk. This is dangerous for people on both sides, both the drivers and the squeegees. What will be done by the people elected to serve and uphold the Constitution remains unclear as Baltimore's squeegee kid issue continues to drive questions and concerns.